Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Forbidden Light video, and today guys, we're taking a look at the brand new Zygarde GX. This is a pretty strong card, and I do like it quite a bit. It is another fighting type GX, so we can add that to the list of ways that Zoark GX is going to struggle in the metagame. Zygarde GX is a very cool card. Its main attribute is mostly that GX attack, which we'll talk about in a minute, but we also have some other good things going for it. Um, first off, Zygarde has 200 HP. That is a lot of HP. 200 HP will, it can take quite a few hits, um, to say the least. Now, it has some good attacks, um, it's got three attacks, all of them are pretty decent. First attack is Cell Connector, for a DC it does 50, attach two Fight Energy cards free discard pile to this Pokemon. So that's not a bad attack, it is on a DCE, and the cool thing about that is we don't really have a DC fighting type attacker in the format right now that can do quick damage to something like a Zoark. So, Cell Connector could be that replacement, so we could see Zygarde be a one-of in decks to counter those Fighting Weak Pokemon. Um, then we have Lance Wrath for 4 energies, you do 130, kind of underwhelming considering it's only doing 130 damage, not a whole lot of damage. Um, but again, we do have Choice Band, Diancy, Regirock. We don't actually play Strong Energy in this deck. The reason for that is because this is a Max Elixir build, so it's more of a Turbo build. So we don't need Strong Energy. Strong Energy wouldn't be bad in here. Because you could technically use Strong Energy with Cell Connector if you really wanted to. But we have the main attack here. Yes, the GX attack is the main attack of the deck. I, uh, that's the first, right? You know, GX attacks, you use it once per game, you can never use it again. Well, that's not the case with Zygarde. So you have Verdict GX, does 150 damage for 4 energies. Prevent all damage done this Pokemon by attacks from Pokemon GX and EX during your opponent's next turn. That's good. Obviously, EXs and GXs rule the game right now. Now, you're probably like, alright, well, that's a great attack and all, but... It's a Jex tech, you only use it once, no, no, no. We have Bonnie, of course Bonnie allows you to discard a stadium in play. Um, during this turn, your Zygar GX can use its GX attack even if you have already used it. So, four Bonnies is what we're playing here. And we're gonna Bonnie, we're gonna get rid of a stadium in play, which we do happen to play six of, and uh, we go from there. And that's great. Very strong stadium card. Being able to use Verdict every turn makes Zygarde nearly invincible. Not only is it like a big, bulky, hard-hitting attacker, Bonnie makes Zygarde even stronger and almost literally makes it invincible. Your opponent has to play cards like Guzma to get around Zygarde, so that's really good. I mean, or they attack with a non-Pokemon like, I don't know, a Rangaroo or Gallade or, you know, Mindjack, I guess. But other than that, Bonnie is great with Zygarde. Um... We only play three Zygarde's. It is our main attacker in the deck, but we go into the other Pokemon here. We got one Diancy Prism Star, very good card. Uh, Princess's Cheers, very strong attack ability, sorry. It allows your Zygarde to do extra damage. We got one Regirock. Again, that extra 10 damage goes a long way, especially when you, you know, have a 30 multiplier with the Choice Band. That's 60 extra damage. So that's really good. We do play one copy of Mewtwo. Buzzwool is, without a doubt, going to see a lot of play. We're probably going to play against Buzzwool because... There's a lot of people playing Buzzwool right now. Mewtwo is great at countering Buzzwool. If they B-string to Buzzwool, they're just asking for Mewtwo to come in and knock them out. Honestly, I almost want to play two Mewtwo's in here. Uh, we do play a 2-2 Octillery line. One of the reasons why is we need some sort of draw support to consistently use Bonnie. Octillery helps us do that, right? We can Abyssal Hand and uh, maybe draw into a Stadium card. We do need a Stadium card to be in play in order to use Bonnie. So Octillery may let us draw into a stadium, so we are going to be running a 2-2 line. It goes nicely with the Brooklyn Hill in here too. And of course we got two Tapu Leles for Wonder Tag, and uh, three Zygarde GXs. Now some other techs you can run, the first one I would consider would be Buzzwool GX. It's not bad, we do already play, you know, Max Elixir, so it's not a bad idea to play a Buzzwool. You can also play the other Buzzwool, um, the Baby Buzzwool, which is another decent tech card in here. Sledgehammer is not bad. The problem I have with this Buzzwool, though, is it's so reliant on, you know, the four mini prizes. I don't find it that useful in here. But, uh, hey, it is what it is. You can definitely play a Buzzwool in this deck if you really want to. Um, so those are some of the tech cards you can play. Again, another Psychic Attacker may be good, too, just because of how good Buzzwool is. So we'll see um, how that goes. But we're going to go into the items now, the meat of the deck. We got four Max Elixirs as a way to charge up our Zygarde GX. We already have Cell Connector. But with a DCE, you can already technically build up two of the energies for Zygarde. And if you hit double Max Elixir, you're already going to build up that attack. So Max Elixir is great. One Stretch to get our Pokemon back. 
We got four Ultra Balls to search for our Pokemon. We do play six stadiums. The ones I've gone with are Brooklyn Hill. Obviously, we're going to need it if we're playing Fighting and Water types. And two Scorched Earth. Goes well with Cell Connector and also acts as a draw support engine. So, yeah, that's uh, the two stadiums. You can play Parallel City if you want. You can even play uh, stuff like Chaos Tau, Town if you want. I don't know. Some Po Town, whatever it's called. You can play Po Town um, too, maybe to get some extra damage for Zygarde. Since we don't play strong energies. Um, but it's up to you. We do play four copies of Bonnie. Um, again, this is how we use a Chicks tech. We could use Palpad also. I think Palpad would be a good one of in here. We got two Cynthia's for draw. We got two N's for draw. Three Sycamore's for draw. Two Guzma's. And with Bonnie, we're going to be using our supporter for the turn. But we have these other supporters in here. Um, so, there you go. Um, now, we got three Choice Bands for that extra 30. Three Float Stones. Everything in here is kind of fat, right? Dionysus got two Retreat. Zygarde's got 3 Retreat, Regirock has a 3 Retreat cost, even Mewtwo has a 2 Retreat cost, Octillery has a 2 Retreat cost, so we're playing 3 Float Stones. Um, now, you notice we don't play any strong energies in here. Now, the reason for that is because if we're playing Max Elixir, Fighting Energy, Strong Energy, and DCE, that is way too much energy to play. So, we are not going to be playing Strong Energy in here. Might be a little controversial, but I think it's okay not to play it, it's, you know? Like, a Buzzwell Lycanroc deck will kind of have the same theme here with the basic energies, and then instead of DC, it'll be four strong energies, but we're not going that route. We are strictly just going with four DCs and ten fighting. Ten fighting is good. Better odds of Max Elixir, better odds of getting energy into the discard with Scorched Earth or Sycamore for that Cell Connector attack. So there you go. Those are the energy counts. Feel free to add strong energies if you want. Maybe you can go nine fighting, one strong energy, just because strong energy is still good to have, and you can still get strong energy back with Cell Connector. It only says... Fine energy. It doesn't say basic energy. So strong energy wouldn't be a bad addition here. If you want to play strong energy, be my guest. But this is the list I've gone with today. We'll see how it goes. We might get a little bit wrecked on by like a Glissapod deck, but we'll see if anyone's even playing Glissapod because people are going to be using Forbidden Light Guards, so we got an advantage there. But I don't know. This is kind of why I like Buzzle wouldn't be bad in here, um, just because you know Glissapod does beat, beat this deck pretty badly. Um, but who knows? So yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute with some matches. Alright guys, here we go. Let's get some matches with our Zygarde deck. Let's see if we can get some magic in and uh, we'll see if we're up against any Buzzles. Um, doesn't look like we are. Okay. I was going to say, everyone's playing Buzzle right now. And before though, we have to play something like Vika Bulu and Galissapod. At that point, I might as well just not even play Kappa. No, I'm just kidding. We can still beat them because of the Verdict lock, but we'll see. Um, oh. My opponent just chooses to concede straight away. Was he playing like Sylveon or something? He was. I think he's hunting for, uh, I think he's hunting for, what's his name? That's actually a bad matchup, though, because of the fact that he plays. I don't mind that, though. I think he's just hunting for alternate Krosma. That's my best guess. But I'll take the free win any day of the week. Not bad. All right. <laughs> All right. Now it looks like we are up against a Greninja deck. This Greninja, a little bit awkward. It could actually, ooh, I hope it's not a Napoleon deck. That would even be worse. That would even be worse because Empoleon can do some annoying things. Double Zygarde and Diancy. All right, well we're gonna have to open up with Zy with one Zygarde, I think. I was thinking of opening up Diancy because I play three Float Stones, but I'd rather open Zygarde. If we can get DC, we can put some pressure on with Cell Connector, and we'll see what kind of a deck this is. Praying it is not a Greninja deck. I mean, if it's Greninja GX, that's fine, but if it's Greninja break that is not fine because that is a bad matchup looks like he's playing Glaceon Greninja that is a deck that I do want to try out soon also definitely want to look at that luckily we don't really rely on Zygarde's ability we losing Lele kind of sucks if we ever want a Lele for Bonnie I guess but I don't really mind this matchup too much it is doable I think we're just gonna go Sycamore here. Grab Remoraid. Got all our Bonnies, all our DCEs. I was thinking going Cynthia, but that Ultra Ball draw kind of was like, well, I may as well just go Sycamore here and you know, see what I can do. Okay, not the greatest. Okay. Um, hold the hand. We can do Cell Connector. Unfortunately, though. 
We could lose to a we could get well not lose. We could get knocked out by Glacion next turn because of Frogadier Polar Spear damage. That is what I am worried about here. We don't have the greatest hand either. Two Bonnies. And we don't have any energy in our hand to follow up with. So we can't really verdict next turn. But if we could, you know, we'd be in a better spot. But Frogadier could be bad. But if we can get a verdict off next turn though, that would we'd be in a good spot. Like he could do damage with frogs, I guess, but as long as he doesn't hit DCE frog frog DC frog deer floatstone, I am fine. Please do not hit DC frog deer floatstone. I will cry. That's an ultra ball. That's gonna grab another frog deer. But as long as you don't have DC float, I am fine. If you actually drew into that though, I might just quit because that is that's bad. That is that's really bad. Oh, he's spreading out the damage. Interesting. Okay. Well, we're going to have to probably get rid of... Probably go Guzma Remoraid here. Grab Octillery. How many energies are in the deck? Okay, we got seven. Hopefully we draw one. Going to have to save that spot for Lele. So we'll put you down. Ah, that's fine. We'll, we'll do this. Whatever. We'll Bissell Hand. There we go. Nice. Okay, that's not nice though. We definitely needed to get some energy going, but now we can start the Verdict Lock. I mean, if he plays Shadow Stitching and Greninja, he can attack me that way. But we Verdict next turn and we're good. So now we got the lock going for now. But again, Guzma's a thing. But no, it looks like he sent the... Now Glaceon's 200 HP is kind of tanky. But if we find a choice band somehow next turn, we can knock out Glaceon. There's going to be GX. Probably going to want to hit the active. I think I'm going to score Surf to try and draw into that. I kind of want to put the energy on Zygarde, though. It's fine, though. He's actually hitting Diancy, which is smart, because then we can one-shot Verdict him. Frost Bullet, see what he hits. Mewtwo actually isn't terrible either, I guess, because Mewtwo can do okay damage to Glaceon here. Okay, that's a decent draw. That can definitely help us. We'll scorched Earth. Okay, rip, we didn't draw it. Alright, choice band so I can knock out this Glaceon. Mm. We actually drew it and he conceded. Oh no, rip. Uh, I mean, he kind of, he couldn't really attack me with anything either, because Greninja does need two energies. But, uh, feels a good man, not going to lie. But yeah, I do want to try out this Glaceon variant too. It does seem like a decent Glaceon deck. Greninja Glaceon does seem kind of fun to play. So I probably will try that out very soon. But that was a pretty good first match. Alright guys, let's find another match with our Zygarde deck. Let's see if we can... Get some things going with a Verdict GX. But we will see how this goes. Alright, let's see what are we up against. Buzzwell. Everyone's playing Buzzwell, I swear. Best way to grind the ladder right now is just play Pure Psychic, because Buzzwell will cry. It's the best way to play. It's just play just play Psychic. Literally, that's all you need. We aren't going to win the coin flip, which sucks, but possibly can we pull off a turn one Verdict? We do start with Diancy. We do have Mewtwo. Um, so Mewtwo is in the deck, which is good. My opponent says hello. We have the hello. Smiley face. So 70 HP Rock Ruff. Interesting. Lycanroc is also one of those cards that can get around the uh, the Verdict Lock. He's actually just going to attach and pass. Okay. So we'll do this. We'll actually play the Earth before I do Ultra Ball. Yeah, that's a bit better. So we can get rid of probably just Lele and I guess energy because I go for Cell Connector. Oh wow, two Zygarde surprise. That is not very good. Yeah, we'll attach that just so we can do possibly one shot verdicts. We'll put Mewtwo down. It does expose that Mewtwo's in the deck, which kind of sucks. Um, it's fine. So we'll take this. I'm going to have to get rid of a float here, and I think Guzma? To 
grab probably just Remoraid. Oh, maybe I should say that for lately, but whatever. I wanted to thin out the deck so I can do Cell Connector. A, hey, there we go. War Tree. I'm actually going to do this again. Maybe try and put it on Mewtwo. Okay, that's fine. Doesn't hit. Doesn't hit. So uh, we could Cell Connector him for 50. Oh, no, we knock him out. What am I saying? Pfft, I just forgot we were doing 70 with Cell Connector. Ugh, I'm an idiot. All right, well, we still knock him out. And game's over with. Can we get, like, 150 coins? out of this 50 coins all right so we can buy a pack which we will do i totally forgot we were doing the 70 with the dot see i am really dumb and i kind of feel bad for not really slow rolling i just forgot that we were doing the 70 but it's fine um anyways we will open up this pack um now i opened up a forbidden light earlier today pull the malamar so we'll see if we can pull a gx out of here necrozma would be great Let's see. First pack in. We ooh, okay, that's perfect. And it's reverse hollow, so it helps out with the blink. And our rare is. Alright, well. At least we got reverse hollow buzzle, so now I have a buzzle, and it is reverse hollow, so at least it makes me look cooler, Kappa. And uh, we'll see, maybe we can get those ultra prism packs too by the end of the video. Another buzzle deck. Oh my goodness. Everyone's playing buzzle today, I swear. You literally just play psychic. Just 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 play quad psychic and you're good. Oh, wow. I have not seen this much Buzzle in a long time. I mean, honestly, I'd rather probably, I'd obviously rather play against Solark. But, you know what? Buzzle is Buzzle. So, we're going to open up Remoraid Zygarde. We're going to open up Remoraid here because I do float in hand. And we can bench Zygarde. Do Scorcher with maybe try and draw a few extra cards. Help us out a little bit. Bridget wouldn't be a bad one of in here either, I guess. Uh, I wouldn't mind that either, but I feel like just with Quad Rooked Hill, you're okay. Ideally, your best setup is just get a Remory down, you know, get Zygarde and play, go from there. But it's fine. So, play Zygarde, and uh, let's see what we end up starting with. Okay, that uh, helps a lot. In fact, I could just set up Cell Connector here. Maybe I shouldn't have played that. It gives him draw support. It's fine. We'll Sycamore. Don't want to draw the two extra cards. And, uh, yeah, that's fine. I think I'm just gonna... Okay, we'll do Scorch Earth, because I'll play the DC on the Zygarde. Two Bonnies, okay. And I'm gonna bring out Zygarde in the active. I have another float in my hand, but he could end me. And I don't want to lose my boy Remoraid. Remoraid is the real MVP. And then we'll Cell Connector him. So he's actually gonna put his own Broken Hill down, which is fine. There's a Buzzwool. We'll see if he's got the B-Strings. Sick. Oh, he does play B-String Rip. All right. That is kind of scary, but again, Verdict, he won't be able to attack us. And he's actually just going to pass. So that's fine. Uh, we can Brookwood Hill for another Zygarde. We do have Mewtwo in the deck also. That is something of importance to note. I think I'm actually going to Cynthia... I need those DCs for Mewtwo. No point attaching. We're gonna do Cell Connector here. And perfect, that's what I was looking for. I was looking for the Octillery. We'll play another Float Down. So we have three tools in place, so one could easily stay on. There's Mewtwo, nice. So we'll Cell Connector, knock out this Remory, get rid of his draw support. And uh, we build up Zygarde. Take a prize, Cynthia's good. And uh, we can Verdict next turn, and actually even one-shot Buzzwool. So, we're off to a pretty strong start, not gonna lie. This is definitely an ideal start for us. So, he's bringing out the Buzzwool. Can't do B-String, because I've only taken one prize card. Uh, he can, Oh, shoot, he can attack me with that, though. And a 5, alright. Maybe Mewtwo will have to knock this guy out. We do have Freshy Stretcher, so Mewtwo can easily come back into the game at any point. And we just drew Mewtwo DCE, that is perfect. So, we'll see a Jet Punch do 80, 30 to the other Zygarde. We'll just do this. Probably just get rid of Brookwood Hill and Regirock. Hmm. Do I knock him out or do I Guzma this out and knock that out with Verdict? I think either way our Zygarde will go down. 120. 
He would need one head to knock me out with swing around. But then we can verdict him right back at it. So, yeah, it's fine. We'll grab a second Remoraid. I think we will go for the Abyssal Hand. I'm not going to fill up my bench quite yet. I do have to worry about Lagunarch. Resty Stretcher is great. And we will verdict GX him. We do take out Buzzwool. Now, he can be string to this thing. But, that's fine. We will verdict. We can either just we knock him out verdict or just knock him out Mewtwo. Unless he ends me, which hopefully doesn't happen. So there's an Ultra Ball, getting rid of Brooklet Hill and Fine Energy. So you can Buzzle, which is fine. We could see double B-String, that could put some pressure on me, but again, Mewtwo is so good against Buzzle when B-String hits the board. So, second Rockruff coming down. There's an N, that's what I was worried he would do. I do have Octillery, but that was a really good hand. Especially because I had that DC in case he knocks me out. Double Stadium, uh, doesn't not the greatest thing in the world. Attaching to Rockruff, does he find a B-String? He doesn't have X Octillery, so he didn't get it. He cannot do it, but he can Sledgehammer me for 50. All right, cool. So now we need a bot. We're going to have to do this. So you draw two cards, Ultra Ball or Lele for Bonnie. Or just draw the bond, that works too. That works too, just, you know. Oh, we can just casually draw the Bonnie. Yeah. That's fine, but yeah, next turn we can Bonnie again. We can win the game, possibly. Now, he does have Bloodthirsty Eyes and Dangerous Rogue, and that Zygarde on the bench can get knocked out. Oh, he puts a statement in play. All right, that actually kind of helps. He has to play Field Blower, but uh, we could win next turn. He, have, he might have the Bloodthirsty Eyes knock out this thing with... Uh, dangerous Rogue, but then this thing still has a choice ban. The Deontes in play. I can Brooklyn Hill for Reggie Rock, so I can still easily win here. Choice ban Brooklyn Hill. Choice ban is a really good draw, so I might need that in case somehow he knocks out my active. I doubt it though. So he's grabbing Lele. Did he get the Lycan Rock and the Energy? How much is he doing with this guy? 70. 60. Oh, if he gets a strong energy, he actually knocks me out. Oh, that works too. Wow. Okay, well, uh, change of plans. When a rock rough knocks out your 200 HP Zygarde, you know you are not having a good day. Wow. Okay, well, we can just draw that too. We do need to get a Bonnie though. Okay, Lele. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, do we have... Actually, do we have game? Yeah, we have game. I do. Yeah, Guzma. 130, 150. Yeah. Okay, we win. We can just knock out that Tapu Lele on the bench. Boom. There you go. Zygarde beating out Buzzwool Lycanroc. Pretty good game, I will say so myself. And uh, we'll do one more game. If I get one more win, I get three Ultra Prism Packs. It's not Forbidden Light, but I can get still get Fuller Cynthia. I still need a few Fuller Cynthias, and I'm good. And hey, it looks like we're up against a Fire deck. This could shake things up a little bit. So I was hoping he'd be playing Zoar, so I get just that nice, easy win. Um, but you know what? We're fine with that. But that was a good game. We showed off how Verdict can definitely lock him up, and then you know from there, Zygarde can just come in and do big damage. So we start with Zygarde, we get DC and Scorched Earth and Brooklyn Hill, very good start. I can't do both stadiums, so I might have to make my mind up. He might turn on Kiawe me too, if this is a fire deck. That could also happen. Okay, but it doesn't look like he is playing it. As much as I don't want to do this, because it gives him Vulcanian, I'm fine with that. I need to get something into play. So we'll attach the DCE, and we'll pass. Hopefully next turn we can somehow pull off a Verdict. We're going to need it here for these Ho-Ho's. I don't know if he's going to be playing Baby Volk or not. He might be playing Baby Volk. We'll see, though. He's going to just Max Lixir to the ho -Oh. Okay. Another Max Lixir to ho -Oh. Rip. Rip, rip. He's hitting them, too. That's not good. At this point, he doesn't even need Kiawe because this thing's already built up. And 
or could hope for fall. Because much as I didn't want to do that, I kind of had to get Rim Raid in play. But he's fine. He might play his own Broken Hills too, so, you know, there you go. He's actually playing Steam Up, okay. Can he knock me out this turn? Yeah, he probably could. Well, no, he's already attached to Hobo. He gets one more Max Lixer and a Float, and Zygar gets knocked out. We are going to cry. Oh, no. Do not knock my Zygar. Do not do this to me today. Is the man about to do it? There's a ho -Oh. Okay, I thought that was Dawn Wings for a minute. Oh, shoot. There is a Dawn Wings. Oh, crud. Don't knock out my poor ho -Oh. You still need Max Elixir and Float. We'll see if he even hit it. Okay, good. Whew. True, another Brooklyn Hill. Wow. Alright, so we'll do this. We'll play this first. Cynthia's good. We can do Guzma. No point in doing Guzma. I think I'll attach to the Zygarde. Spread out the energy a little bit. Is he resistant to fighting? He is. Oh, that's kind of annoying. So you can't really one-shot him. There is a Max Elixir, which is nice. We'll put down the third Zygarde. We'll play this. I should have maybe lay late first, but it's fine. We got it. Um, and we will sell Connector. We don't knock out the Oranguru, which kind of is nice because then we don't force him to go straight into Ho-Oh, so we can still easily knock him out Verdict next turn, so that's a good thing. He might even knock out his only non-GX Pokemon too, so that's another good sign. He just needs Float and Energy though to knock me out. Could easily happen, so hopefully Zygarde is a trooper and lives. He actually still can use Scorched Earth also, so both these stadiums are actually benefiting my opponent, which is sort of annoying, but uh... What can you do? We need the stadiums to help us out too. Without that, if we didn't do Scorched Earth there, we probably wouldn't have been able to get this setup going. So we had to do what we had to do. It benefits him, but it benefits me too. So we'll see how it goes. Does my opponent have a float to knock out my Zygarde? Let's find out. If I had Field Blower, that'd be great. I could really use Choice Man's Force to Steam up. And uh, if he didn't get that energy, you could do it. But I do not play Field Blower. But let's see, does he retreat the Oranguru? The Oranguru being in play, oh, Guzma, that works too. He brings up this one. That's fine. Both Zygars are ready to attack, but this one sucks. I just need an energy now, not a DC. I guess that's fine. Mewtwo? Again, Mewtwo is also kind of in this matchup. Don't forget. I can actually end him here, which is pretty good. Um, two energies gone. Rip Zygar. Drew a DC. Wow, so now I kind of regret that. Whatever. I'm actually going to stretcher the Zygarde back. It's one less card that I have to draw when I end him here. We do still need a basic energy to attack him here. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. No artillery, which I don't really like seeing. Well, Max Elixir. Nice. I do like seeing that, however. And uh, Verdict GX. Only not for too much damage. We don't have Deontay in play. I could have broke with Hilt, but it's fine. We'll Bonnie next turn. Knock him out. So that's good. Now, with Dawn Wings, he can keep repeating the Phoenix Burn. He's gonna need another Guzma. I think these whole lists do play four Guzmas, though, unfortunately. So, Guzma easily could just give him the win. Like, Guzma will uh, put a rip in the chat. So, we see a Max Elixir onto the other ho -Oh. He could start build up another ho -Oh. Gotta worry about that, too, because we didn't knock this guy out. There's Sycamore. So, no Guzma. All right. We did he have no? He didn't have one in his hand. That, that was a Kiawe. I am blind. I actually traded two normal Kiawe's for a full art, or not for? Uh, yeah, I traded two Kiawe's for a Forbidden Light pack, which is kind of sick. So let's see what he tries, decides to do here. Am I honestly? Maybe I Guzma this guy. I still Guzma that guy. I could even just Guzma this knockout Hello. So he's going to grab Turdinator, okay. Does have Nitro Tank, but that's fine. The Turdinator, though, you know, that's one thing that I could knock out, maybe. Let's see what he's going to do. He could bring out the Orangaroo. He doesn't have that many energies to discard. Yeah, he's only got one. He's not going to Nitro Tank for one energy. That make no sense. Let's see what he does. Goes into ho -Oh. He can Sacred Fire a bench Pokemon, I guess. Which it looks like he's gonna do. Which 
You do 50. You could potentially set up... Oh, he attacked me. I'm so sorry, dude. I am so, so sorry for your loss. I apologize for what is about to go. Uh, we're down to DC, right? Alright, we'll attach that. It's fine, just in case. Yeah. I apologize for that misplay. Oh, yeah. Okay, that changes things completely. There's a Guzma. There's a Float. So, yeah, we can do Guzma next turn and just land Wraith something if I really wanted to. But we're just going to keep verdicting. We have another Lele, Brooklyn Hill in our hand. No Octillery yet, which we do need just in case. But thankfully, he had tried to attack my Zygarde and it failed. Now am I invincible? He might play Baby Volk. I highly doubt it at this point. So he attached to Hobo, I think. He he could do the Nitro Tank now, but I could well, if I could drop Bonnie, that'd be amazing. Because I can Brooklyn Hill for I don't know. The fact that we can't one-shot him is kind of sad. Okay, there's a Cynthia. He's going to do Nitro Tank, I think. And I think he's going to learn from the mistake, so he's not going to do that misplay again. So, Ultra Ball gets rid of two energies. What's he going to grab? Does he play the Baby Volk? No, he grabs a Salazzle GX. Okay. He's going to do Super Rod also. I think Shell Trap actually does get around Verdict's effect if I do Verdict. Yeah, definitely does. So I know uh, he could like just meme me with a Shell Trap, but he already attached to ho -Oh, so That is out of the picture. He's going to do Super Rod. Okay. For two energies and a Lele. So he's definitely going Nitro Tank this turn. He's going to be able to set up that ho -Oh, and if I don't draw a Bonnie, well, there's literally no way I can knock him out here. I think we just have to do Verdict again and just, just keep Verdict spamming him for now. It's the only way. He might have a Guzma in his hand. He's played so many of his supporters, he's definitely going to have like a Guzma in hand. He's got four energies on this, okay. Do a Regirock. So we gotta fill our bench up with Lele's. But we can grab Bonnie. Okay, we got both Octillers. Whatever Mewtwo. Again, Mewtwo, you know, does actually do okay damage to Ho-Oh. So that could be a player in the next part of this deck. Um, yeah, so we Bonnie. And we Verdict him. I mean, Terminator also kind of, maybe couldn't even one-shot me there. He would need Steam Up and Choice Band, but Ho-Oh could one-shot me. So we just Verdict him. I am expecting a Guzma to come down this turn, though. And we're not going to be able to Bonnie next turn. Yep, there it is, Rip. <sighs> Our bench being full is kind of bad. We definitely need Octillery. Like, yeah, we're, unless we draw an Octillery and get something good off that, this Ho-Oh -oh is going to cream us. I actually don't think we can win this game. Guzma, why? I don't need that. I don't think I can do enough damage to this. I'm going to have to try and go for Mewtwo here. Don't know if that's going to work out for me, though. Still have two DCs. We're going to have to go Mewtwo. Pray he doesn't have that other Guzma in his hand. That's the only way. Maybe I should have put it on Mewtwo. Yeah, maybe I probably should have said a Zygarde. Misplaced. Okay, Abyssal Hand, DCE. Shoot. Yeah, I should have attached to the Mewtwo with that Max Luxor. I was confident I was going to draw DC, though. We're going to have to sacrifice Mewtwo. Probably he doesn't have Guzma for game. He probably does, though. Rip. Doesn't look like we can beat Ho-Oh today, guys. Just didn't work out well for us. We did get to show off that Verdict lock pretty well, actually. Yep, there's Guzma Rip. 
Rip, 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 ho -oh is too OP in the standard format at the moment, Kappa. I'm kidding. That's unfortunate. And that also means we aren't going to get these Ultra Prism packs, which is also unfortunate. But, you know what, at the end of the day, we showed off Zygarde. And I guess ho -oh can be a little tougher to beat. That resistance is so bad. And we, the fact that we couldn't do the damage multipliers is also bad. He has like 210 HP here against us, and we can't hit high enough numbers to do that on this ho -oh, I don't think. So yeah, that kind of sucks. That loss is kind of annoying, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. But uh, that will wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to Helmet Road to 3K subscribers. And um, yeah, we'll see if we can hit 3,000 subs by July 1st. We've been doing pretty good on the channel. You guys have been enjoying the Forbidden Light content, which is awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. Zygar GX, is it a good deck? I don't know. I like quite a bit. I do like this deck. I feel like I could have just went Mewtwo there. We would have lost anyways, but uh, misplays happen. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.